Good morning guys and welcome to this week's episode of the Grinding Road. And in today's episode I'm going to start this video off by showing you some plyometric works that I will be doing yeah, right now. And hopefully you learn something and start doing these exercises as well. You can honestly feel that summer is coming. I think it is like 14 degrees outside. Celsius of course, not Fahrenheit. And uh, well, I'll speak with you in a bit. I forgot the cones at home, so we will make the best out of it by using these things. Put a jump in the room. Let's go. This exercise is very difficult because you need to absorb all the power on one leg and then push on on the same leg. And well, that's makes, that makes it very difficult. So guys, I'm now home after school and I have been doing a lot of stuff today. I need to hand in one more thing in religion and then I'm done with school this year. So summer break is coming and I've been planning a lot of stuff that I will be doing this summer with the GoPro, with the YouTube channel and I hope you enjoy it and looking forward for the content that I will provide. I will go into more in depth about how to Im actually improve your plyometrics uh, and what type of muscle groups you need to improve and not, not only show the exercises that I did, but actually talk about them or talk about uh, explosiveness. But before I talk about that, I will head down to the gym 
and do a kind of full body uh, session uh, one we usually do with the team but apparently we will not do that today we will do it on our own and I will go down to the gym I will modify it a bit just to work more on my power so yeah I will talk with you after that so enjoy Hello guys, I'm editing this week's episode right now and I see that I said muscle type instead of muscle fibers. Just so you know, I meant muscle fibers every time and yeah, enjoy the video. So it's now time to talk a little bit about plyometrics and explosiveness. So first of all, I want to say that I am just chilling on my balcony. So if you hear any noise, car noise in the background, I apologize. But that it's not much I can do about it. So we know that there are three types of uh, muscle types in your body. Type 1, type 2A and 2X. So type 1 is more for endurance, like uh, uh, when you're running and uh, try to work on your stamina, for example. And type 2 are more of the explosive type of muscle types, uh, especially type 2X. So if you want to work on power, your main focus should be on trying to improve the, uh, improve the type 2 muscle types. But how? So let me explain to you. When you want to work on power, you reduce the amount of reps, increase the amount of sets, and increase the uh, recovery time between the sets. Because what we know 
the type 2 uh, muscle type uh, ha need the recovery time because it's like you you they they work for a shorter amount of time and they and that's why Usain Bolt can't run a marathon or I, I honestly don't know maybe he can but I think he preferred the 100 meter sprint instead he holds the world record of 100 meters in what is it a 9.82 seconds or so and that's a short amount of time when he does the sprint it's only the type 2 muscle type does work or mainly the type 2 of course the type 1 have an impact but not that much that the type 2 has so in conclusion how do you actually improve your power well I would say that you you need to have like one session a week where you just focus on power where it is a lot of uh, rest in between these sets uh, for example, I, what I like to do is uh, I have one session a week where I work on my power and play metrics. So, one more thing that I want to talk about before I leave you is the type of exercises that I choose. So, jumping rope is very good if you want to develop your footwork and, and jumping ability, coordination. Uh, I, I haven't been jumping in a while because it has been, it have been uh, very cold outside so I have preferably doing my pilot plyometric sessions in the gym. But now when the sun is back and you can honestly feel the summer coming I like to do the plyometric session outside and therefore I can use the jumping rope a lot more. And if you didn't know, like boxers, they use jumping ropes a lot because they always have to stay on their toes and stay on their feet. And it's kind of the same as a goalkeeper. You always have to stay focused, be ready for a dive, have your um, balance right. And that's why I think that jumping ropes are very good. So I'm not gonna bore you out anymore. It's time to uh, eat some lunch for me and then I'm going to edit all of this. And hopefully it will be a good episode. And I hope you have learned something from it. And if you have any question about power, just drop a comment down below. I will read all your comments. But the main advice I can give you if you want to work on your power and especially on jumping, just jump. And I know it sounds like, well, <laughs> I know knew that already. But if you want to get better at something, the only thing you need is repetition. Repetition after repetition, fail, do it again. But I can promise you by just continuing working will help you. So therefore the best advice I can give you if you want to develop your plyometrics is just to work on it, jump. So, if you end up liking this video, please hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss another episode of The Grinding Road, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. And keep working smart, keep grinding hard. Success will come. I will speak with you in next week's episode. Bye.